morning everybody it's Monday morning and I just want to talk about sales you know I walk into the store diamond drilling on um you know of course you know this is your friendly neighborhood uh, customer service and business critic I walk into diamond drilling and well, I'm getting some air it's kind of hot summer summertime creeping up on me anyway I walk into diamond drilling you know, everything, I love this store. Everything in this place is about making money. I don't care what it is. They got everything about making money. I love these guys. Then when you ask somebody, look, uh, you got this, you got that. You know, they like, oh, for real? If we had that on the shelf, you would get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them a week or two weeks later, you got two or three on the shelf. But they got this one guy in there. He got to be racist, and because he, he he see you coming, and I I walk in the store first. You got to buzz me in. I walk in the store, and you doing your paperwork. You don't even speak. You don't even speak to me. Ain't nobody else in the store, so you don't even speak. You know, so I walks over. You know, I'm trying to find the glasses. He ain't said nothing. He so busy doing paperwork and all that, bro. Are you doing paperwork? See, I learned in business. See, I learned salesmanship from some of the greatest salespeople that I ever come across. And it had to be from God. When I decided, you know, I need to learn sales. So, I work for this art store, for instance. Where we sold prints. Now, you had to put... We had measuring tools and protractors and everything to put the art on the wall. Because like my uh, the supervisor said... We're not selling wall, we're selling art. So you had to put the stuff on the wall. So he taught me that, I was like, okay. But he taught me one major thing. Y'all can have this one for free. You know, this is from the Very Very Business Academy. You can have this one for free. It's called Commotion is the Best Promotion. It is a guaranteed surefire way to get people coming into your uh, establishment or your phone ringing. Take my word. You know what? You can take it or leave it. But if I was you, I would take it because it's the truth. So he would say, say if someone's not coming to the art store, let me explain it to you. What you do is no one's coming there. You stand around. Instead of twiddling your thumbs, talk on the phone and all that, what you do, you start going through the art and moving it around. You start, you do this. You take the Monets and you replace them with the, you, you move them over to the Renoirs. In the middle of doing that, your people gonna start coming into the store. It's like, it's like automatic. They start coming to the store. If you your phone not ringing, say okay. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start cleaning out my truck and stuff like that, and organizing. Thanks, you no phone ringing. It's, it's it's called commotion. Is the best promotion. You can have that one for free. But anyway, I come into the store. This guy's still doing paperwork. Bro, you supposed to stop doing that. Just like all the Home Depot and all that. They be putting stuff. Yeah, I'm mentioning your names. Yeah. They be putting st stock and stuff, stock and stuff. When you were customers in the store, ain't no time to be doing no stocking. It's time to get that bread. See, that's what's wrong with the economy. Everybody's so busy trying not to be a salesperson. Trying not to get that bread. You know, you want to do, ain't, ain't no reason to be stocking those shelves. The shelves don't spend money. Customers spend money, you know? And I'm like this, if I got somebody, you know, like, like, like for instance, they got these cameras in the store, but they so busy trying to watch people stealing. What you should be watching is, well, let me see how my sales staff is doing. And if they standing around not generating that bread, you're fired. I don't care if you union or whatever. Get out. You're fired. Because I'm trying to get this money. I'm not here to play games with y'all. I'm here to get this money. So if you running your mouth talking about what's going on and blah, 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 or doing TikTok videos or whatever, you fired instantly. I got time to play games with you. I'm about that bread. And when customers come in the store or whatever, it's about selling them as much as you possibly can sell them. And all that security, the best security is an aggressive salesperson. Because that person, excuse me, sir, how can I help you? Boom, boom, boom. They own you, they own you, they own you, they own you. They be on you so strong, you be like, you spend all your money. Let me get out of here. See, never underestimate somebody's spending. 
You don't know who you're dealing with. I had, I was I was in the art store one time, and the uh, the lady who she was a manager for AT and T. She came in, and I instantly, well, of course, it was a commotion, the best promotion. So I stopped doing what I was doing on the middle of plan, putting up the pictures. Stopped. Stopped doing what I was doing. She say, I'm here to buy some pictures because I need to, to put pictures on a hole on two floors in the building. She had a blank check. This lady spent at least five grand on prints. For the walls of AT&T You never know who you talking to You never know So y'all need to beef up y'all sales skills Or just get out the game And go be some type of laborer or something Bye